I felt like more than try to piss people off, which 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 there is some of the stuff on there, you know, I stuck to the same formula, but more than anything, I wanted to be able to to make it about, you know, prove my solidify my place in in hip hop and in music and in this culture period and everything. I, I, I didn't want to just be known for, oh, the reason that he's successful is because, like, everybody's always got a different excuse of why I'm successful. Well, because he shocks people. Well, because he try he goes out of his way to cause controversy. Well, because he's white. Well, because he's this. You know, the truth is, it's all of that. Provocera Eva Eminem eller Marshall Mathers som han egentligen heter är bäst på och han lockar en större publik än någon annan rappartist just nu. Låtarna om hat, våld och förakt sticker i ögonen på många, inte minst det politiska etablissemanget. It may have got a little more political but I've always done it in a, you know, a lighthearted way, in a sarcastic way. I'm not gonna sit up here and be Mr. Political Activist, you know, um, Mr. Anti-Government or whatever. I don't got time in my life to be like that. För det som tar upp en stor del av M&M's liv nu mer vid sidan om turnerandet är faktiskt papparollen. I mean, it's affected every aspect of my life. It's kept me out of jail. It's kept me from doing situations that I probably would have done differently had I not been a father. It's matured me. It's made me. I don't know. It's made me a stronger person. Like. Not to say that I haven't done anything stupid, you know, God knows I have, but we all make mistakes and we learn from them and more than anything, Haley keeps me grounded. You know, she did a song with me and she had fun doing the song and, you know, maybe I'm corrupting her at an early age, but, you know, there is the second verse in that song, my dad's going crazy that there's a lot of cuss words in a row and I don't let her listen to yet. You know, she's only six, so I can only take it so far you know I care about her I care about her I don't care about the next person's kids and and you know how you want to raise your kids and if you want to let them listen to the music then that's fine you know that's your decision but me I'm not gonna corrupt my little girl like that Liksom många andra artister prövar han nu sin lycka på Vita duken som Kim Basingers rappande son i filmen Eight Mile. Regisserad av Curtis Hansen, mannen bakom filmer som Wonder Boys och LA Confidential. He taught me a lot of stuff and I, I, I listened to him and I looked to him for guidance because the truth is that no matter how much I know about my music and how experienced I am with that, I don't know this acting thing and I'm not, I didn't want to just jump into it like oh I'm Eminem, I can do this, you know. Well, Kim Basinger was good, on and off camera. I'm kidding. When they see you out there in the spotlight, that it's no struggling no more. You will always have problems. Money does not buy happiness. Like you can't. You will always have problems. Your problems just come on a different scale. It's a different level of problems. You don't got to worry about paying your phone bill no more, but you got to worry about people tapping your phone. You know, you got to worry about like just different things in this business that you just get a new level of problems. You know, everything, that, there's no such thing as a perfect world. If there was, and I would want, I would want to live in it, but there's not, so.